Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, you're going to see how to install MariaDB on Ubuntu, Debian, or any Linux distro for that matter. So I will use a Valtra server. Even on a virtual box, virtual machine, you can still follow along as long as you're using Linux. So if you want to do this on a production server, you can get $300 free credit from Valtra, and you can use that to get a free virtual machine. I will put the link in the description. So I don't have a post written, so you're going to see how you can how you can do this without really having to, to feel like you have to memorize everything. I'm just going to use the documentation to make sure that in the end we have MariaDB installed. So the first thing you need to figure out which version of Maria MariaDB you want to install. So if you want to run MariaDB on a production server, you should always go with an LTS version. For that, I'm going to use End of Life, which is a website that can tell you the versions of different Linux applications. So I'm just going to search for End of Life MariaDB. I will click there, MariaDB End of Life. The latest LTS version is 11.4. So that's the one you want to install if you're going to use this in a production environment. You can also go with the LTS version of 10.11 versions. And this one ends in three years. So as of the date of this recording, it will be supported up to 2028. And this one will be supported for four years up to May 20. 29. So before you install either, you need to be sure that whatever you want to run can use that version. Make sure you do your research to confirm whether whatever you want to run can use 11.4. So maybe it's WordPress, Laravel, whatever it is. Just make sure you check whether it can use the latest LTS, which is 11.4. Now that you're sure that you want to install 11.4, MariaDB 11.4 LTS, you can just go to mariadb.org. If you want to install the enterprise version, you can go to mariadb.com. So I'm just going to go to mariadb.org. So once you go to mariadb.org, just click there on download. Get the repository, MariaDB server repositories, and you should select your Linux version right there. In this example, I'm going to use Ubuntu 24.04. Choose a MariaDB version. We've already established we want to install 11.4 LTS. Go with that. I will select 11.4 LTS. And that's pretty much it. So once you've selected your Linux distro from there, everything you need to set it up on your server is here. If you're on Red Hat and related, I might do another video. Yes, I will do another video, but it's just the same process. Come here. Maybe you want to install it for rel 9. Just select rel 9 and then create this file and copy that inside of your yam repo.d. I will do a next video for how to install it on Red Hat related operating systems. For this one, let's go with Ubuntu and I'm just going to go with my Ubuntu 24.04. So next thing, I'm assuming you already have your server. So the next thing is to log into your server. So I'm going to go log into my server. I'll come back to Valtra. I will copy my IP. Here I'm logging with an SSH key. If you don't know how to do this on Valtra, I did a video about how to deploy a Valtra server using an SSH key, and I'm going to add the link in the description below. This is a brand new server, so I'm going to, first of all, update the server. Press enter to confirm. The next thing, I can just do an apt search to see if there's any MariaDB repository already available with the default Ubuntu. So I can do that by searching for MariaDB. 
So if I search for MariaDB server, let's see. Okay, we already have a version here. MariaDB noble updates available and the version that it comes with is 10.11. So you can see if you're using Ubuntu 20.04 or even 22.04 and you just want to install the 10.11 LTS, you don't have to do anything. You can just install it directly by using apt install MariaDB. But if you want to install a different version, you'll have to add the repository. So the first thing is to import the MariaDB repository and add the keyrings. So I'm just going to copy this. I will run this on my server. And then I will press enter to confirm. All right, so the first part is done. The next step, we need to create this file and then paste all of this inside of that file. So I'm just going to copy this Etsy, apt sources list MariaDB, copy, and then I will come back to my server, control L to clear the screen, control shift V to paste, and this is a file we are supposed to create, and you can see it's inside of the Etsy, Etsy directory. Anything inside of Etsy directory requires root permissions. So if you are root, if you're not the root user, you are you probably have sudo privileges. So you're going to use sudo. And vi is the editor I want to use. You can use nano, but I'm going to use vi. There we go. The file is there. Now we can paste all this. So I'm going to copy control shift V to paste. That's, that's that for that. I'm just going to escape, press escape, and then shift ZZ to save on Vim. If you're on Ubuntu, probably shift ZZ is not going to work. So before you use Vim, just do sudo apt install Vim for you to have the same Vim. So we can do an update. We can just use this to update our, our repo. Let's update our cache. The next thing you can now install MariaDB. So I'm just going to copy that from there. Sudo apt, you can use apt-get or sudo apt. Control shift V to paste. On top of installing the MariaDB server, you may also want to install MariaDB client. Enter. Accept. Yes, enter. Okay, there we go. MariaDB is now installed. You can just confirm your version of MariaDB using MariaDB-V. And you're going to see that your MariaDB is 11.43 and that's the version we wanted to install. And it doesn't end there. You still need to secure MariaDB server you can secure your MariaDB server by running MySQL secure installation. Of course, if you don't remember the command, our friend is Google. Just go to Google and search for secure MariaDB. And the command is MySQL secure installation. There you go. There. So I can just click on it. And just run MySQL MariaDB secure installation. Let's go back and we're going to run that, paste, enter. And it's going to ask you a series of questions. Just answer them. They're self-explanatory questions that you can work your way through. So the first one, enter current password for root. Right now, it doesn't have a root password, so I'm just going to press enter. It's going to set a root password. So unless you're the root user on this server, you can't log into MySQL as a root user without the root password. And then switch to Unix socket. You can switch to Unix socket. That will listen on the Unix socket and you don't have to use ports. So I just press enter to accept the default. Every time you see capital Y, that means that when you press enter, that is a default. If N is a capital, then that is a default. In this case, Y is a default, so you can press enter. You can change the root, so you can safely answer no. 
but you can change the root password. If you have a specific root password that you want to use, you can generate a password and come and use it here. So just as an example, I'm going to change the root password by pressing enter. And I'm going to give the I'm going to enter my password. So make sure it's a very strong password. So the next step is we need to remove the anonymous user. I'm going to press enter. Disallow root login remotely. If you want to access your server remotely, you're going to have to create another user and give them the privileges they need to access your database remotely. I'm going to press enter. And then you can remove the test database. Yes, remove it. Reload privilege tables now. Yes, reload them. And that's it. Now, that's pretty much how to secure the DB. Just run MariaDB secure installation. If you want to create tables, if you want to log into your MariaDB, that is beyond the scope of this tutorial, but you can just go to MariaDB And since I'm the root user, I can log in without a password. If you're not root, you're going to need a password. And the moment you access your database, you can see your database server. You can see it also tells you the version that you're running. There you go. You can see your database is there. All right, that should end it for this video. Let me just create another server with CentOS. And if you're running any Red Hat related Linux, such as Fedora, CentOS, Alma Linux, Rocky Linux, the next video is for you. I'm going to show you how you can install MySQL, uh, how you can install MariaDB. We're going to go through the same processes, basically. So you don't have to watch that video if you can figure your way out. But if you want to see this step by step, watch the next video. And then after that, I'm also going to show you how you can access your database remotely. Let's say you want to work on your local machine. I'm going to show you how you can allow your IP if you have a dedicated IP. See you next time.